Alright guys, uh, this is going to be a holster review and I'm pretty excited today uh, for this Aegis Armory holster because I had a chance to handle one of these holsters already and I found the quality to be outstanding, uh, especially for the price that they charge. Uh, we'll get into all that here in a minute, but I want to go ahead and open this up on camera and uh, I will also be putting this holster on as an example with the gun and showing you uh, with a sh wearing a shirt outside the pants and wearing a shirt tucked in as well. So let me take my doll knife and <laughs> try to get into this package. <laughs> as one of my subscribers always say, uh, he always says uh, Humans for Targets has the dullest knives on YouTube. There's the name, Aegis Armory. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Very good looking colors there. This is the Coyote Tan with black leather. And uh, go ahead and open this up here. And I'm going to you know, do a small review here on the table. Then, like I said, I'm going to put this on and let you see what it actually looks like on me. Okay, here's their card with the phone number. And you can just uh, type in the name on Google as well and find them if you want to if you want to check these holsters out um, I'll go ahead and this is for the G19 it's a left-handed for me and here's my G19 uh, Gen 4 as you guys can see I did a little bit of uh, modification to this gun I put on some grip tape on the firearm right there put some up here on the slide right here. This is the non-sandpaper. It's the rubberized grip tape. And I also have some on this side so that when I grip the pistol to the points of contact, okay? And as for the grip tape on the slide, that would just be for in any occasion of racking the slide or if you wanted to come up here and do a press check, um, just better help you uh, if you needed to rack the slide. I know I want to get questions about the grip tapes. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and get that out there. Okay, so let me go ahead and... Oh, yeah, that's nice. Holds the gun very well. That was one of my problems with the Crossbreed. Uh, here's the Crossbreed Super Tuck. And from the first time I got this holster, um, the one thing that I did not like about this holster was I noticed that it was... Now, it's holding the gun right now because of the the grip tape on there but as you can see it doesn't take much and the gun drops right out and I've always felt that the kydex was molded a little too loosely uh, for the pistol okay so as you can see there I'm shaking this one up and down same way and the gun's not falling out. So it just it just looks a little better formed than the crossbreed if you look at the two, okay? I almost sent this back actually when I first got it, but I didn't want to deal with it because I had to wait so long to get this. I didn't want to deal with waiting on another one, but uh, that's one of the reasons that I like this holster over the crossbreed. And the, the second reason is, is this is actually cheaper. This holster runs uh, fifty dollars and then there can be a little bit of money added to it depending on which kydex color that you want you'll have to look on there and see um, there's their logo there it's kinda neat how they have their logo printed on there and as you can see everything is rounded so there's no um, no flat blunt edges here it's all rounded nicely and I like the fact of the thinness of the leather as well on here. Uh, as you'll notice, if I compare it again with the crossbreed, uh, you have a squared off edge here, okay, which I would prefer the rounded edge. So that's definitely one thing that I like on the Aegis Armory holster compared to the crossbreed holster itself. Um, it does have good clips. This actually had the old plastic style clips, and I upgraded it to this 
but it does have the, like I said, the squared off cuts and the leather uh, is thicker and I just, myself, I prefer having the thinnest package possible and I like how thin the leather is on this holster as compared to something like the crossbreed. Now there's the back of it. Another thing that's nice about this holster is as you can see here the slots cut in there so that you could wear this outside the waistband as well and use a screwdriver and take these clips off. So you can do this, you can wear this either way. Okay, I will be wearing this inside the waistband myself. And like I said, this is the Coyote Tan Kydex on black leather. You can also adjust the clips back here. You have room for adjustment. But yeah, overall, it is just a good build holster, I think. Um, like I said, I've had a chance to handle one of these already, and I was impressed uh, with that one, and I'm just as impressed with this one as well. Go ahead and put the firearm back in there and let you see what that looks like. With it in the holster, here's a view from the back. I like this uh, pretty much what would mostly be called a combat cut. You're able to get a full grip on the gun. Uh, I'll, I will try to demonstrate that better when I put this holster on and show it to you when I stand up and wear the holster. But you're able to get a full grip in there and that would be the ideal way if you're using your gun in a self-defense situation. The most ideal way would be to have the gun gripped the way that you're going to need it when it comes out of the holster. One less step of adjusting your grip is saving you time. And in a life or death situation, uh, that time can mean a lot. That, you know, split second or half a second or however long it takes to pull a gun and readjust the grip, that can be the difference in your life or not, depending on the situation. Now this is going to be my EDC, and uh, I love the G19. I'm going to do some videos, guys, on the G19 for you as well, coming up here soon. So there's what it looks like. Um, now I will show you the Aegis Armory Guardian. I'm sure you've seen probably styles of this holster before, and I have not used theirs, so it may take me... Oh, there we go. It didn't take me time to do that. Basically, this is a holster. Uh, it covers the trigger guard completely, so you're going to be completely safe with uh, just sticking this gun in your waistband. You can loop this gun around the belt, okay, and it, it'll be looped on the belt, such as it is here, and then you wear it inside the waistband like this, and you're completely safe with this style of firearm because there is no way to get to that trigger. That trigger is fully covered, and um, I believe... Uh, just as you draw the gun and then have an upward motion, there we go, that the gun is going to break away from this. Now I really like the fit of this, guys. It locks on firmly and uh, seems very tightly molded to the gun. I mean, look at that. It's just really tight on there. And then as you draw, if I don't hit the camera too hard, uh, or the tripod, then that's how, as you're drawing out of your pants, it's going to pop out uh, of the holster. So that is the Aegis Armory Guardian. Okay, now I'm going to get up and put this holster on, and I'm going to let you guys see a couple different views, and shirt untucked and shirt tucked in, and what it, this G19 looks like on me in the holster. Okay, guys, I have the holster on right now. First, what I'm going to do is spin around a little bit. I'm going to let you um, see if you can uh, tell exactly where it is on me and then I'm going to show you what it looks like um, by pulling up my shirt. Okay. So the holster and firearm is right here, the Glock 19. 
I'll get a little bit of a close-up view for you there. I'll even stand closer now and let you see it with my shirt down. Keep in mind, there it is, once again. And... There we go. Okay, now, guys, one of the points I was talking about that I really like with this uh, Aegis Armory holster is the fact that, as you can see here, you have access to the full grip right here to get your full grip on the gun. So basically, if you're going to draw this gun, and you, you do want to do some training with this, guys, as with anything, when you get um, a new holster or a different holster, you do want to do some training, whether it's in your house or wherever. You don't have to actually fire uh, to do the training, but it enables you to draw the gun, and I have it in the grip right now, uh, that I would shoot the gun in. So I didn't have to change positions at all. Okay, it's very easy to unholster and also to reholster as well. And keep in mind, I haven't even done any practicing with this holster. So, there it is. See, got one clip. I gotta trim this belt down, but disregard that for the moment. But I uh, got one clip right here, and your second clip is right here. These clips feel uh, very adequate for the holster. And this holster is very comfortable. feels very comfortable to me. And, uh, yes, I do like it better than the crossbreed. I just feel for as long as I waited for that crossbreed holster, um, the quality and the Kydex and the form of the Kydex should have been much better than what it is. But, anyway, I digress on that. Keep in mind... I'm not, um, right here, Let's see if I can do this, there, I'm not even looking at the holster when I'm reholstering, and like I said, I haven't even done practice with this holster yet, so, as you can see, it's not going to take you long uh, to get in the rhythm of unholstering and holstering this gun, and like I said, having the full grip, I can feel the full, I can't really show it on camera, but I'm gripping this gun just as if it were standing up on a table like this. So I'm able to get whatever grip I utilize right there and out, I'm ready to fire. Okay? None of this parts of my hand would move, just my finger to the trigger. So that's one thing to keep in consideration uh, for a holster that's cut like this. Um, serve you a lot better to get that full grip and get the gun out of there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, tuck the shirt in behind the clips here and let you see what everything looks like, um, you know, with the shirt tucked in. So, just a okay, second. guys, I'll here's the view with the shirt tucked in. And I'll do a couple of spins here for you. up a little bit closer. I guess one benefit of having a belt that's now this long over here on this side, the extra piece, uh, is that it's totally covering one of the clips. See right here is one of the clips. I now have the belt covering that because this belt is pulled so far over because I lost weight and had to make holes in the belt. And then the rear clip is right here on black. Not really noticeable and I normally wear my shirt uh, pulled out a little bit to give me some room. You know what I mean? Just a little bit of material pulled out just to give me some movement room. So there's what you're going to be looking at with it inside of the waistband holster with the shirt uh, tucked in around it. And then of course to draw, I'm going to do this slowly, but in real life scenario this would be much quicker. You know, however you're going to do it, whether you use your left or your right, for the purposes of the video, I'm going to use my right hand. 
pull this up. Now, normally you're probably not going to have this much material. You've seen me really tugging on it and using both hands. Um, my clothes, once again, have gotten too big for me. So the shirt that I ordered a few weeks ago is um, is a little bit too big. I'm already go. I'm already ready to go down a size. So keep in mind that you, if you don't have this much material that you're jamming down in there, uh, it's going to be easier for you to access the firearm. That's the only reason that I had to do it like that. So once again, there's the gun. Holds pretty close and tight to the body. Guys, this thing is so unbelievably comfortable. Um, I just really can't even describe it to you. I mean, very nice. My EDC from now on is going to be uh, the Glock 19 in this Aegis Armory holster. Um, I would suggest if you're looking for a good in the waistband holster, and I've already sent a fellow uh, that I know who got his concealed carry permit and was questioning me about holsters. He's not really a gun guy, and I have already sent him to this website and told him that uh, this is who I'd go through. Uh, number one, as of right now at this moment, these, uh, these holsters are uh, quickly to be shipped out to you, you know, within a day or two of the order. Now, I can't speak for in the future if that changes, but as of right now, these holsters are pretty much ready to go in one, or, one to two days, okay? So, I basically sent him over there and said, hey, this is my recommendation for you uh, to carry your gun, is to get one of these holsters. There it is, guys. Aegis Armory. And it's called the... What's this one called? Oh, this is called the shield. I'm sorry, I forgot there for a moment, but this is called the shield. Very good holster, and um, I would recommend it to someone that's looking for a good in the waistband holster at a decent price and doesn't want to wait, uh, you know, four to okay, six Okay, guys, minutes. I now have my G19 in the Guardian holster, the little holster that I showed you that clicks over the trigger guard just to protect the trigger guard, and you can use it in the waistband with the lanyard around your belt. I now have that holster on, and this definitely feels closer in than even any of the in the waistband holsters that I have used or currently use. This just feels closer, like it's closer to the body, obviously because you don't have any kydex around the body of the gun, and you don't have that barrier of leather, so you're taking out a lot of centimeters of material and that centimeters of material of material can equate a lot when you're talking about carrying a gun so here let me show you what it looks like here and I'll come up close and get you a view and here that is right here I'm not really used to wearing this style of holster, guys, so I might not have this positioned right. Uh, especially after the weight loss, I'm now finding myself rethinking gun positions because there's not as much of me that goes around. So bear that in mind. So there it is, and I'll just pull it out here and show it to you. So there it is, and there's the lanyard. And basically, you'd come up in a draw and comes right out. Now. I'm going to show you how the Guardian, just disregard this extra flap of material belt here. I'm going to show you how the Guardian goes on to the belt. Uh, it's very simple to do. Okay, so when you get it, it's going to look like this. Okay. So all you're going to do is take the knot right here. You're going to take it up through your belt like this on the other side. Now you're going to take the Kydex portion the holster itself. You're just going to put it right through the loop and pull. That's it. Once you got it through the loop and you pull, um, you're going to take the gun, put it up here like this, and then push and it locks. And I'm telling, guys, I'm telling you this is secure. I would not do this with my brand new uh, Gen 4 G19 if this wasn't secure. So trust me, I don't want this thing falling on the ground. 
and I don't have a worry about it falling out. And no, there is not one in the chamber, and the gun is not loaded. Uh, it was checked before each time I turned the camera on. Okay, then if I can get you a better view of this, look at the camera screen while I do that. There's what you're looking at um, when you tuck it into the pants. Now, this is what I would consider minimalist because, like I said, you have no hindrances over the body of the gun. I can feel the shape of the gun on me. And this is actually really comfortable. Really comfortable. I like this, guys. You guys did a really good job on this holster. You could also tuck in your shirt as well. Um, I'm not going to tuck in the whole shirt again, but you get the idea right behind the string. Okay, then you'd have access to the gun. And draw would be something like this. As you come up, it's going to break free off of the gun. Now I am noticing, and you're not going to have this problem uh, nine times, <laughs> 9.99 out of 10 times. Most guys aren't going to have this uh, grip tape like I do. But I did notice that this grip tape was pulled back up here by the holster, so I might just have to trim a little piece. Uh, I have that up there for when I grip the gun right here for this thumb and a contact point for this thumb. That's my reasoning for doing this. Uh, most guys are right-handed, yours would be on the other side, but not a big deal. Not a big deal to me. Looks like I could just trim off this little edge piece right here and everything would be good to go, but man, this is awesome. I really like this Guardian holster. No worry about this falling out. So yeah. Yeah guys, this might want to be this might be something that you want to look into if you want to go as minimal as possible on the holster. Drawing just pops right out. Just as easy as that. Alright guys, um, I'm impressed. Kudos to the guys at Aegis Armory. I uh, very much so like your products, and uh, I'm telling you what, um, these two holsters are definitely going to get some use for me. All right, guys, until next time, this is H4T, and I am out.